Something I get asked a lot when I'm facilitating or when I'm working with teams is how do we manage difficult conversations and when there's tension in the room? Now, I think that just goes with the territory of being human because everywhere I work, it's the same issue. And if you think about it, whether it's at work or at home, we're often having to deal with tension and having difficult conversations. Something I want to share with you is an experience I had a few years ago that was a game changer for me around having a difficult conversation where there was a lot of tension. And it actually happened in my personal life. I had just started dating my now husband and we had reached a point where we were, things weren't going as well as they could. We were a few months in and I needed to have a difficult conversation. I needed to tell him what was going on for me. Now, I could kind of refer back to my previous relationships and go, well, I know how not to do it. So I sat with how am I going to start this conversation so that it doesn't end up in a fight and so that it ends up with us moving forward in a positive way. What I did was I phoned him and I said, I'm coming over. I need to talk to you about something that's on my heart, but I, you know, I really am hoping we're going to have a good conversation about it. So I already set the space of, I didn't want this to be a fight. When I arrived, I had had the whole drive there to really think about what did I want to get out of this conversation? Did I want to be right? Did I want to make him wrong? Did I want this to be a battle of wills? Or did I actually want us to just find a positive way forward? Well, I wanted the positive way forward. So I started that conversation with an intention. I said to him, my intention is to keep our relationship sacred, keep all the things that are working, working. And there is something difficult that I want to talk to you about, but I want to talk to you about it with the aim of us becoming more and not breaking down what we already have. It was a game changer. He could listen to what was on my heart and I shared it from a space that wasn't antagonistic. And I realized in that moment that there is a lot to be gained from setting a positive intention in a situation that is filled with tension. And at work, I'm sure you are coming across tension all the time, but ask yourself, are those difficult conversations being asked with a positive intention? I don't always get it right, but every time I do remember to do it, things work out. So there's always the choice, you know, things aren't going well on a project. Do you walk into that meeting and go, guys, this project is a mess. We need to look at what's going wrong and up the tension in the room. Or do you walk in and say, this project really matters to us and we are working so hard and I love what everyone's bringing to it. There's a few things I'm concerned about. Can we talk about it so that we can keep succeeding together? Different conversation. There's an intention that manages the tension. And so this is just something I want you to think about. Are you bringing intention into your daily life? And this is a way to lead. This is a way to start meetings. Ask people, how are you arriving here? What intention do you have for this meeting? What energy are you bringing to this team? That completely lowers the tension. It lets people remember that they're all actually on the same page. And often we're trying to get to the same outcome. And if we just understand that positive intention, we can use it to manage the tension that shows up. I hope this is something that will make a difference for you. It's something that I have to remember to do often, but every time I do, it makes the difference. So you get to choose. Do you want tension in your life or intention? Have fun.